Monster Crunch, the breakfast battle game starring all of your favorite spooky cereal mascots, including the two that kinda showed up for a day or two and then disappeared for decades. Here are the stats. Let's get into it. You get five cereal placards, one for each monster, the vampirous Count Chocula, the ghoulish Frankenberry, the ethereal Booberry, the feral Fruit Brute, and the rancid Fruity Yummy Mummy. They also get two monster power placards each, 10 total. Of course, being a card game, you get 180 cards, 36 for each monster. Finally, you get 15 milk tokens. The only true monsters are the people that eat their cereal dry, after all. Whomsoever eats the most cereal by playing the most cards over three hands shall be the victorious villain, otherwise known as the winner. It's the setup, play! Each player chooses a monster. They then take the corresponding cereal cards, cereal bowl placard, and monster power placards for that monster. Everyone places these in front of them. All players shuffle their cereal cards to form a face-down stack. Everyone draws 12 cards from their stack to form their first hand. Finally, everyone gets one milk token, and the rest are placed in the center of the play area. Boo! It's time to play. The player who most recently ate a bowl of cereal goes first. Starting with them and continuing clockwise, each player places a card onto their bowl or passes. The first player to place a card may start with any of the cards from their hand. Every player after that in this round must play a value that is equal to or higher than the last card played. You may play a single card or multiple cards by using milk tokens. More on those later. If you can't play a card or don't want to, you must pass. When you pass, place all of the cards currently in your bowl face up next to your bowl. This is your scoring pile. Take one milk token from the center, if there are any left. Now, you're out for the rest of the round. Everyone else keeps playing or passing until there's only one player left. Now, the round's over. The last player left puts their cards from their bowl into their scoring pile. They don't take a milk token. All of the players keep the cards currently in their hands and don't draw any new cards. The last player left in the last round gets to play the first card in the new round. The rounds continue until a player plays the last card in their hand, which is the end of the hand. Everyone places the cards in their bowls into their scoring piles. Any cards left in their hands are put back into the box and out of the game. Keep all of your milk tokens. Everyone draws a new hand of 12 cards. Whoever ran out of cards in the last hand will be the first player in the next hand. Keep going like this until... At the end of the third hand, scoring shall be performed, and a winner shall be decided. Here are how milk tokens work. When you play a card, you may return one or more of your milk tokens to the center to add that many cards to your play. The cards you add must either be in ascending numerical order or identical to the first card. Now, the value of your play is the sum of all of the cards. Monster powers work like this. You may play them at any point, but you can only use each of them once per game. Once you've used one, put it back in the box. To use them, follow the text written on them either before or after you play a card on your turn, as indicated on the placard. At the end of the third hand, everyone should count the number of cards in their scoring pile, ignoring the value printed on them. Whoever has the most cards in their scoring pile wins. If there's a tie, whichever tied player has the most milk tokens wins. If there's still a tie, the tied monsters win together. Now they have all the energy they need to peddle sugar puffs and hunt the innocent. So that's Monster Crunch. That should cover everything. But if you still have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you liked this, please take the time to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, everybody.